if you had maybe two, three, four pieces of advice for maybe a beginning writer or someone who's just started pushing through, what would you tell them about pushing through, continuing doing what they're doing, or just the writing process in general? It's a very good question. I think, okay, I think for starters, I'll, I'll just start with something that I, I kind of struggled with a little bit, um, is like taking yourself seriously as a writer. Um, it took me a really long time to tell people about my writing. Obviously my closest friends, my closest friends knew because it's something that I've always done. So they know that, that I write, but I would never ever admit that I wrote seriously. Like I, like this isn't, it's not just like my little scribbles. Like this is what I really want to pursue. And I think you do need to, it wasn't until I started taking myself seriously and kind of, you know, telling myself like, no, 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 I, I want to be a writer. I'm going to be a writer that I was able to start putting myself out there, sending things for submission. Like I I would hold all of my writing so close, you know, so close to myself, even mm-hmm. starting, even starting up that Instagram, I hate posting. I still hate posting, but I know it's, I know it's something that ultimately is going to help me along this writing journey. And it has, like I've come, I've had so many opportunities that I've found through even this, like I've, I've found you through Instagram, like all of, all of these connections, right? So you need to take yourself seriously before anyone else will. That's just how, you know, cause you can't, I think you kind of delusionally want some like, publisher to be like you i have somehow stumbled across yeah. a notebook you left in a cafe and if, now i if want I you just think it enough yes. hopefully <laughs> someone will just be like this one they're a good writer yeah exactly right we just we we think we'll stumble into it but you need to take yourself seriously before anyone else can um so that's i think that's the that's one of my one of my top tips um and yeah i think also, you're you're never going to have time for writing. You have to make time for writing. And I think that was something that I always, another reason why this has taken me so long is because I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm just busy right now with assessments. Like uh, once I finish assessments and I'll refocus or like, yeah, it's a bit like I would always kind of, um, if I wasn't particularly motivated in that moment, I would make excuses. You're always, life is always busy, doesn't get less busy. You have to make time for it. Um, yeah. And yeah, there's always something, especially for something like writing that takes a long time, doesn't really have any kind of immediate effect on your life. Like, there, you know, it's not like you, you go to work and you make your hourly wage and you come home. It's like, that's it. Like, it doesn't do anything for your life in the moment. Yeah. Those things can be so hard to make time for. And you keep, and sometimes you, I mean, this constant voice in the back of my head is often, what if you're just wasting all this time? Like you're waking up so early, you could be, you know, doing like you could be sleeping in an extra hour or something. You know, this could just be a waste of your life or something like that. But also yeah. it's never wasted. It right. like, it's never wasted. It's uh, it's such good, you know, I don't know. It's such Bet- a good output. Better to waste your life trying to do something than waste it not trying to do something. Ah. Uh. 100%. That was that was good. Yeah. That's like Thank you. quote that. <laughs> yeah. But 100%. Yeah. That's it. And Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think those are those are my main two tips is you're never going to have time for it. You have to make time for it and you need to take yourself seriously before anyone else can start yeah. taking you seriously. Yeah. I love what you say about taking yourself seriously. That's one I I haven't heard as much that. And I I don't I think feel like I read this somewhere, but maybe it's in a book or I watched a video or something, but someone talking about like, you have to assume the identity. Maybe. Oh, I remember. Have you read Atomic Habits by James Clear? Have you I haven't. No, I've seen it. it. I've seen it, but I haven't read it. Super great read. Uh, pretty short, you know, uh, if you're into reading like self-help and that kind of thing. But um, he's, he talks about that in there of like, you know, if you want to be someone who goes to the gym, you have to assume the identity of someone who goes to the gym before you, you know, have reached all your goals and stuff. 
same thing with being a writer. Like you have to assume the identity of like, I am a writer and you're going to write anyways, you know, whether yeah. you are published or not published or have a book deal or whatever, you have to assume the identity of being a writer and write. Yeah. Let's see it. Yeah, that's it. It's it's you're not gonna magically have a bestseller novel unless you <laughs> unless you put in the work and right. you know make that. Yeah.